Well, we have got another big story today for you. We're less than a three hours away from the July jobs report. Employers expected to have added 183,000 jobs with the unemployment rate falling potentially to 4.3 percent. That'd be a 16-year low. Joining us now, Rob Morgan, Chief Investment Officer with Sandy Spring Trust. Rob, good morning. Hey, good morning, Cheryl. You know, we were talking about wages earlier this week. If you look, paychecks seem to be getting bigger for workers at the lower income levels. So is wages the real story today? I think so. You know, I think the, the Fed has been uh, somewhat in a box here. Uh, they've, they've been raising rates and they're soon going to be, you know, reducing the balance sheet. And, uh, and of course, all, the reason they do that is, is because they want to choke off inflation. But there's been no inflation. So, so I think not only will wages be looked at from, from the standpoint of workers looking, looking for faster growth in wages, but I think the Fed also wants to maybe see even a little bit of wage inflation uh, in, in, the, in the report today as well. Because they keep predicting that inflation. And we really haven't seen it yet. Um, right. Let's talk about the number itself, 180,000 jobs expected. Um, you know, it, it's not 200,000 jobs. That's kind of where we were before uh, the recession. Uh, how far are, away are we from getting to those types of numbers? Because that's your real economy, if you will. Well, you know, the Fed, the Fed has said that the, uh, that the, first, uh, the first part of the year really was uh, uh, the economy had had slowed somewhat, but they felt like the factors that that prompted that were were temporary. I guess I'm going to take them at their word, um, and and so they're looking for an acceleration really as as we go forward. So so hopefully we do start to see those numbers get closer to the uh, the 200,000 mark and 180,000. It's you know it's it's somewhat close, but but yeah, we'd like to see a little bit more robustness there. You know, is there a, is there a real story here though with the jobless picture and basically that low unemployment rate? We talk Talk about uh, the labor participation rate, which has still remained relatively high, and that's kind of been the, the, the negative story to the jobs growth that we've seen over the last few years since the recession. The participation rate, is that the story today as well that we need to look at? Yeah, I think uh, I, I, I certainly think so. Hopefully, these uh, these discouraged workers that have been out of the, the workplace for the last several years, hopefully, as the as the rate continues to go down, uh, that will draw more people into the into the into the employment market. What about the sure. manufacturing sector, though, Rob? You know, we, we uh, brought our viewers the story earlier. Toyota Masa uh, expected to announce today a 1.6 billion dollar investment. It's going to be a new plant. You've got talk of Apple maybe bringing in new plants to the United States. So, I mean. Manufacturing, this is what President Trump promised on the campaign, campaign trail. Is this uh, the reality? Yeah, I think uh, you know this is this is all this is all very encouraging news. Um, certainly, you know, in, in, you know, I mentioned before, uh, workers want to see wage inflation. So does the Fed. Employers don't want to see it though. So so hope that they are certainly hoping that that wage inflation stay, stays in check. But I think uh, the the manu on the manu manufacturing front, the news is starting mm -hmm. to look somewhat positive. All right. Well, we hope so. We are less than three hours away from that report. Rob Morgan. Thank you, Rob.